Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Character Showcase. We're going to be jumping in as Golem for this one and seeing what we can do with our rocks once again. In the previous episode of Golem, we had a pretty good time with some Geode synergies, doing some pretty interesting stuff. So we'll hopefully get something similar going on again. We get the free crush here, which we like. Um, oop, no, that was wrong. Wait, okay. I've already, I've already ruined that. I meant to do the free grind, not the crush. My bad. You get the free grind on one of them. There you go, this one, and we crush this one. And we get ourselves plus six damage that decays over time if holding another geode decays at a slower rate. Okay, so don't pick that up quite yet. Um, chance to fire Petrifying Tears. Um, grants a random baby when crushed. I hate the fact that Petrified Sock is just so goddamn gross. Okay, we got our random baby. Lovely. Unfortunately, it's not a great baby, I'll be honest, but we'll take him. We'll take him. Right, uh, betray is, betrayal is, is kind of interesting, but I'm liking this, obviously, fading damage. Um, obviously, with it only being um, six, it's not going to last a whole hell of a lot of the time, but we can make it work. I also really like, I don't know if it's this baby that's given us these visuals, but it looks pretty awesome. For a quality zero baby, it's kind of a over-the-top visual for our character, but I like it. I like it. But yeah, the, the, the petrifying tears we have used before, but I think the baby... Consider it's a random baby is, is definitely better, because it could give you something like Twisted Pear or something. It's essentially just using a Soul of Lilith, and it could give you anything of, of any sort of degree of amazingness. But unfortunately, we got a quality zero baby, which I won't hold it against the little lad. I won't hold it against the little lad. He's he's as cute as can be, um, and he's trying his goddamn best. I just wish he was a little easier to actually control rather than just kind of idly bimbling. Idly bimbling around. Got another bomb for that bad boy. Lovely. Oh, really? I hate it when you get a goddamn tinted rock that has no soul hearts in it. It's just a scam, but at least it gave us a bomb back to blow up this. This game, man. This game. Right, anyways. Boss time while we've still got our damage rolling. As you can see, this damage does fade pretty quickly. Um, we're not get keeping it for very long. We're already, we've, we've already lost almost half of it. That was kind of close there. You can see that this baby's just not doing a whole lot though. But the damage we're outputting right now is pretty lovely. And we do get... Stores an extra heart. Does not count against Devil Deal Chance Breaks when taking damage while empty. Um, half filled. Okay, okay. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing it does nothing much happens when we smelt this. I was going to look for Secret Room, but I'd rather just push forward um, and try and make the most out of this damage up if we can. Um, one second. Let me just take a quick pause here. Right. We can continue. We can continue. I don't know what's going to happen if I smelt this heart-holding trinket. It, it seems interesting, but yeah, I don't know if I could... If it's something that I could smell. I very highly doubt it would work correctly while smelted. Unless it has some sort of special interaction while smelted, but I, I don't know. I'm going to say no. But basically, as long as it doesn't get hit while empty, we can keep this thing going as a, as a little sort of buffer to our soul heart health, which is really, really nice. We know it's, it's basically like a burn heart. It's essentially just a burn heart as a trinket, which is quite nice. Um, I'll do that. Why not? We'll see what we can do best here. But I think we're just about out of our damage up now, unfortunately. Um, which means that our trinket is Kaputski, so we might as well spend some money to uh, change it into something else. Which is fine by me. And we get a half soul heart there for completing the room as well. We'll try and look for secret room on this floor if we can. Oh, these guys. Yeah, okay, so we, we are going to lose our trinket if we're not careful. Yeah, that means I might want to grind it up, actually. As much as I'm liking it, I think we go back in here and we grind both of these for new trinkets, because both of them at the minute aren't doing anything for us. Um, boom, bow. And... Charms female enemies and occasionally fires freezing tears, and then we also got constantly sucks in pickups, also works when dropped. I think I'm going to re-roll that one. These these guys never really float my gut. Once fluid bleed falls when damage, oh, spawns a friendly portal when crushed. That's not particularly that good for us. The flies when damaged thing is kind of meh. We'll see if we get some more money and we can uh, play around with that a little more. I don't have anything that I want to smelt right now. Maybe the freezing tears could be smelted. Um, we'll kind of see about that. Freezing tears being smelted could be good. It just really depends on uh, how often it works. I mean, the the interesting thing about the uh, 
charming female enemies is kind of good, because I don't actually know how many sort of enemies are classed as female in the game, and I don't know if modded enemies are assigned a sex. Uh, I'd imagine the Fiendfolio ones are, of course, because it's a Fiendfolio character item. Um, but I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Oh, that was a really bad hit by me there. Oopsie daisy. Let's just go do our boss now. But yeah, it could be, it could be quite good. I mean, you'd think there'd probably be around 50% of enemies that are classed as female, but... I mean, it's pretty hard to tell. I mean, I have to say... I... I really... It, it, I wouldn't say it's like a thing that, that like, bothers me too much. But uh, quite often, I I get, like, messages from, like, someone who'll be like, actually Andromeda's a girl, or actually Golem's a boy, or, or whatever. And I just, I just don't get, why are we even assigning a sex to these characters? Why? Like, wh why does Andromeda need to be a boy or a girl? It's a fucking little video game baby that's made of space dust. I just... Ugh. It baffles me. <laughs> I don't get why people care. I mean, it's fine if you do, but it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, to be honest. It's one of those things that I'll never really understand. Like, if the character is, like, sort of established both in and out of the game as such, I can get it a little more, but... Yeah, Andromeda might be established maybe on the mod page as female, but in the game there's there's nothing that says about it, and it just doesn't it just doesn't matter. Chance to send pickups into their doubled equivalent, uh, chance to double room drop rewards. That's pretty good. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll go down here real quick, and we'll get rid of this one. We get a friendly portal for doing this as well, which is something I guess. Um, and then have we seen that item room this floor? We have not. We'll grab that. We'll make our way back over and see if we can find it. Yeah, I gotta say it's not like a big thing for me. It doesn't annoy me a lot or anything. It just—it's just something that I'm—I'm—I'm I'm, I'm confused on more than anything. Ooh, that was rather nice. Little dime there. Honestly, the the friendly portal is uh, is pretty amazing. I didn't realize it'd be uh, so forthcoming with the uh, with the friends it spawns. I like that about it. I like that. Hey, there's the doubled items dropping. That's really nice. The doubled room rewards is the thing I'm most excited about. We can get some really good stuff out of that. God damn, this portal's really upped our DPS, hasn't it? Ooh, I think I'd rather go for this. Really, of the list of the things you could have duplicated there, that was not that was not high up on my list, I'll be honest. That was not high up on my list, but we got, unfortunately, a bit unlucky there. Right, I think we go for now. Um, I think, actually, do you know what? I think I am going to smelt the, uh, the ICT as one, because I think I, I want to open up a slot and I want to keep the ICT as going. So let's smelt that. Other one I don't want to smelt because I don't want to weaken its power. Um, I don't know if it will, but... Still, my biggest gripe about this character is not knowing what weakens what. It's just confusing. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to smelt this Tough Twins one uh, just yet because like, it might be better unsmelted. We might get more value out of it, so why smelt it? Okay, these guys have lasers. Just don't stay in line with them. We should be fine. I mean, honestly, my portal buddy is uh, just spawning so many friends to help us out that we're not having any issues here. Ugh, this room looks gross. That's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to make me use all of those buttons. Hey, there's that. this is what I'm talking about with the double room reward. L look at the value we just got out of that. Beautiful. I wonder how long this portal is going to end up lasting, you know. It's, uh, it's sticking with it right now. It's sticking with it. Oh, another doubled. And we got a trinket here as well. Chance to spawn in a dice on room clear. Can be used to reroll things in the room. Um... Spawn three when grinded. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. That's a, a golem rock trinket based on the Samuel mod, which is pretty interesting. Didn't know there was uh, some crossover there. I'm happy to see it. Hey, there's a female enemy. Apparently the double face thing there is female for some unknown reason. But it's like, how... how 
how do you realistically assign a sex to a floating fucking mushroom? And surely, surely there should be a male and female mushroom enemy. Otherwise, there wouldn't likely to be more mushroom enemies. <laughs> right? Honestly, this portal is amazing. So, the, yeah, these Denial D9s are pretty interesting. Uh, we're not going to get a whole lot of use out of them, I wouldn't think, just because they just spawn at the end of a room randomly, which makes them, like, only useful in rooms that have items and stuff. But when that happens, it could be good. we got a little ferryman there. Just fill this burn heart back up after I took some damage there. We're looking for our item room. Oh my god, the doubled double. <laughs> That's what you like to see. Didn't even think about the plausibility of that happening, but I'm, I'm glad it's real. Fate's reward, unfortunately, not so good. It would have been nice to have gotten a thingy there. Denial reward. Let me just grab these keys and then we'll take a shortcut over to... Actually, no, we don't have any shortcut locations here. We should try and look for secret room real quick. I think I know where it is. It's in one of two locations, I think. Yeah, one of two locations. I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, and in here we have no additional trinket, surprisingly. This is one of my rooms, actually. What does this room do again? Ooh, it's kind of spicy. Yeah, there's no trinket in here, weirdly. Basically, this room's just like, everything move around like crazy and make it really hard to grab anything. Oh, there is a trinket, apparently. Chance for a bed to spawn at the start of every floor. Eh, not super useful for us. I could uh, turn it into HP, I guess. But I just don't even know where it is, so I'm not going to bother. Um, I'll grab the Bible. Why not? The Bible for uh, 15 cent. Fly every four rooms. Instant kill of mum and mum's heart. Don't think it's that bad at all. I can get used to that. Right. Let's keep on moving. Oh, you're female as well, are you? Okay. You never know in the wild world of Isaac. You never know. Foul gut is lovely. And we got another one of these bad boys. Fires tears at nearby enemies. I'm just not that interested. Again, I could grind it into HP, but I don't really need the HP, as you can clearly see by my current HP. And we also just got a ton, and I mean a literal ton of rotten hearts. All the spiders are female, apparently, too. I'm liking the betrayal thing going on where they're all attacking each other. What a great change to an item. Betrayal used to be such hot trash before. It's not, like, crazy good now. It's just, it actually does something now. Man, this portal... I, I, I genuinely don't think it's going to die until, like, an explosion hits it or it, like, spawns on top of a spiked rock or something like that. Because at the minute, it's just so hard for enemies to kill it. It has good health, it's in a good location, and it's just spewing out an endless stream of helpful stuff. You tried to blow up a mushroom on me there, good sir. I saw that. I'd like more bombs, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can, can I? Oh, ho, ho, save who play. Would you like to do that again, good sir? That's the wrong fucking... Hey, Goober! Hey, oh, more of my curses. Hell yes, horse pill. That's a horse telepills. I don't think it has any effect over the normal telepills. Kind of surprised it doesn't, like, take you to an error room or something. So I could use this in here and that'll, uh, re-roll that into another pill. Great. Not really what I was hoping for there. There's another, uh, mushroom flesh over here, so I want to go grab that. Big old verb. Oh, big old gulp. Oh. Okay, that's pretty nice. Now, I do realize that does obviously weaken both of them slightly, but the opportunity to double smelt both of them for no HP cost is uh, pretty valid, I'd say. I think that's something we have to take advantage of when it uh, shows itself. Troll bomb coming in there. Ouchie. 
Kind of annoying to lose a Rotten Heart like that, because I want to keep as many Rotten Hearts as we can, because they're doing such good damage right now. They are part of our economy, along with our portal economy. Have we seen our item room yet? Again, we haven't seen our item room. We seem to be late on that. Okay, he, he could actually kill my portal here. Although, I don't think he did any damage to the portal then, surprisingly. I don't know why. Fairly sure secret room's here. That it is, that it is. Um, percent chance to fire a slowing tier, slow tiers leave a large puddle of white creep if you hit an enemy while you're holding another geode. Lovely stuff. The world. Around the world, around the world. Uh, we should probably actually uh, hop down here to shortcut back to the starting room. What the fuck are you? You're new. I legitimately have no idea what you are. I've never seen you in my life. I am confused. One second. Du -du 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 -du. Un momento. Okay, one sec. Okay, I'm probably going to have to take a pause in a moment. I have to go do something, but that's fine. Where about are we? Okay. Come on down and around over here. And we can pop in here. Acid, baby. Oh, yes. Wait, no. No. It rerolled my card. I thought it prioritized the goddamn item. You fucker. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. I really thought that prioritized the item. I didn't think it'd just do whatever I was closest to. Oh. Oh, shit. That's so fucking cool. Okay. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. This boy right here should be something that can show up very rarely in secret rooms and in various rooms in on any character. I love that idea of being able to take a random trinket and make it gold. I absolutely love that idea. We should go to the secret room, actually, here. That's a really, really, really cool idea, and I'd love to see that expanded upon. Right, let's do this. Actually, let's pop the uh, flight here so we can grab whatever's in here. And of course, you blow up the rocks the moment I do that, you'll goose. I love that. That's a great idea. Look at the fucking damage, baby. We cannot be stopped. Um... Spawns an extra soul heart. Um, uh. Fortune worm effect. Yeah, I don't like the fortune worm, I'll be honest. Let's just keep it going. Right. What can we do here? What can we do? I want to try and find secret room again. I want to get as many of our golem trinkets going as we can. I genuinely think this um, this portal might just last the whole fucking run if an explosion doesn't hit it. Because um, maybe Mum's foot could kill it, but it doesn't matter because I've got the Bible. Mum's foot ain't touching shit, baby. Froze you. Yeah. Oh shit, there's more enemies. I was itching my back. I was like, ah, the room's over. I've got time to have a little itch. <laughs> no, no, no. No! No! It's gone. What does this do? Bombs are now throwable. Um, pits within your bomb's blast radius are filled. When your bomb explodes, the resonant force breaks tinted rocks, super tinted rocks throughout the room. Bomb rocks in the room uh, will break apart, dropping bomb pickups. Okay. It's pretty cool. Basically, our bombs are just all around better in every way. For example, in a room like this. Wait, that wasn't throwable. Maybe I have to walk into it for it to be throwable. Not a not a, a large fan of the layout of this kooky little room. I don't like it when a room just tasks me with doing pointless shit like walking up and down. <laughs> I 
find it frustrating. Fucking get off my back, you dildo. Goddamn, go away. Ugh. Ugh. Rooms like this make me sick. That was... Guys. That was so much fun. Ugh. Are you... Mmm. Fucking kidding me. With this bullshit. <laughs> Look at the engaging gameplay. It's a green one anyway, so it doesn't matter. The engaging gameplay that provides. <laughs> I'll never understand. I'll never understand those rooms. Right, let's take out this guy. Unfortunately, no more portal to help us out, which, as you can clearly see, has lowered my damage by quite a bit. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh my god, I am absolutely shit in the bed against this guy. Oh god, our damage is so poor now. It's kind of crazy how much damage that was adding before. Now it adds nothing. Don't kill my friends, they're the only ones I have left. I, I can't seem to avoid this man. There you go, we finally got him. Pretty, that was pretty terrible. Speedball. Plus 1.65 tears, my ass. <laughs> there you get some damage there, lovely. Item room we've been to, honestly, just bounce. Oh, <laughs> the damage I'm taking right now does not feel fair. We're through this room there. Got two of these ghosty boys with us as well. Luckily you can't destroy these rocks. Mr. Boom. We get to re-roll it into... ho ho Brother Bobby, which gives us conjoined, which almost entirely negates the um, the trinket we got. Where did these two hearts come from? I'm confused by that. And we've got these little fellas here. Oh, ghosty boy on me as well. The slowing tears with a golden uh, trinket here is doing pretty well for us. I like that. And that's doing some good stuff. Can't believe my portal died. I was relying on that. That was my only source of income. <laughs> Here's another double penny there. The doubles are still doubling. Right, keep this trainer rolling. This hasn't been the best flaw. I feel like my, my crippling depression from losing my only love and my only child has um, driven me to madness and I'm starting to take a lot of damage. Also, those coloured block rooms really, really melted my spirit. I had a lot of spirit before that, and that room aged me. I'm unnecessarily harsh on those rooms, I do realise. Just certain aspects of game design, in all games, not just modding, not just Isaac, certain aspects of game design annoy me. One of the big ones, as you probably already are able to tell, is... Games that make you, like, artificially wait to try and make things harder. Like, ooh, ooh, chaos, yes please. I would very much like Pop Pop as well. I do very much like Pop Pop, so let's see if we can get four more pennies. But yeah, bosses that have, like, invulnerability phases, and they just, they just make you dodge for a while, and rooms that, like, just stop you from proceeding just because when you would otherwise be able to easily kill the room. Enemies like hosts, where they just arbitrarily will close their head for a certain amount of time. I don't mind when they're like, they just close their head and then reopen it like they just did there. But sometimes when they just be like, you're not firing at me, but I don't feel like opening. Ha 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 ha. Now you have to wait here before you can literally instantly kill me like you would have anyways. That stuff 
in games is, is always annoying, which I don't think too many games do, but there, there is definitely that in, in a few aspects of roguelikes. And I am always curious as to what the actual sort of desi design decision behind implementing the, those types of uh, enemies and stuff actually is. I'm always a bit curious because I could, personally, I can never really figure out what the purpose is like, like this. This is just a room where all of these enemies are perfectly killable under every scenario. But I can't kill them until these little fuckers do their business. I just have to wait. And when they fire their little red blocks and stuff, it's kind of up to them, not up to me. Right, if I kill these, does it just unlock them all? Okay, yeah, it does good. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, that, that sort of stuff is just like, meh. Why? It didn't need to be that way, did it? Um, yeah, so it's right to the starting room. I think just straight back to the boss, right? Where are we? That wasn't really even that much of a shortcut, goddammit. It was barely a shortcut at all. Right, luckily, I've got my book here to insta-kill. Boom. Grant's tears homing for a shop here have been fired. Ooh, very, very nice. Uh, we'll grab Dark Path here. I'll check out the Devil Deal, I guess. I mean, unfortunately, these aren't great for us. I'll do my wisdom here and see. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I'm stupid. I thought that was the Ultra Secret Room. Not the Ultra Secret Room, the uh, Arrow Room teleport, but still. Anyways, down we go. Yeah, I wanted to grab that short bit of herming. I think that'll be useful. I wonder how much herming it gives us. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I think I'm just thinking with uh, having um, crackling slag, which is affected by herming, and then on top of that, having conjoined, having herming just makes all the sense, even if it is only on occasion. But so far, on occasion seems to be literally every time. <laughs> Certainly cannot complain. Yeah, crackling slag with herming is very, very good. God damn, the keys, man. The keys are insane. I don't feel quite as weak now with uh, with this setup. Just hoping I'm going the right way, because the womb is a cruel mistress when it comes to directional... Um, directional... I don't really know how to, to word that. I had a sort of half-started the sentence and didn't really think about how I was going to finish it. Anyways... Yeah, easy enough. I mean, Crackling Slag is just kind of like taking a mine of its own and, and killing everything, so don't mind that. Damage up. Uh, tears up, damage down. Chance to fire a tear that makes enemies magnetic. I oh, wait, that's the wrong trinket. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I know that the slowing one is good and it is gold, but I genuinely think having these two together makes more sense. You hit me, you bitch. That's not allowed. And then, at this point, that's probably better. Flight and a bit of speed. Yeah, we'll take that. I realise this this takes away our ability to insta-kill Mum's heart, but I'm pretty sure the White Pony will, will next to insta-kill. Anyways, it'll be very, very high damage. Ooh, you're all female, are you? Having yourself a little cat fight? Ooh, card reading. It's very nice for the next few floors. I'm taking a bit of dumb damage here, but it's... It's alright, it's okay. Hey, there's some HP as well anyways, lovely. Lovely stuff. Hmm. 
What a lovely. The moon, eh, I don't really care that much about secret room at this point. I'm hoping we're going the right way here. We've been going for a while, so I'd imagine so, but never really know. That's why I don't want to use my, my horse yet. Even on these rooms where it instantly recharges, I'm still wary for some reason. Ah, oh, come on. How is this not the boss yet? Um, right. Here we go. Right, we can get the insta-kill here, I think. Not quite instant, unfortunately, but very, very close. Ah, I didn't skip the last phase, though. That's what we're looking for. Couldn't quite get it. I mean, card reading for the next few floors should be pretty awesome. Ow. Sat right on my head. And we are going down. Yes, we are. Good, good. It's been an intriguing run, this has. Ah, oh, really? Give me secret room. Couldn't have given me. I've got Grotto Beast in here, whatever his name is. Um, couldn't have given me the boss teleporter. Could have skipped this entire floor. Because th this floor is just, for the most part, like, useless. <laughs> There's nothing I can gain on this floor, really, apart from potentially HP. But even then, I'm always dubious of gaining HP on these floors. I mean, this, this, this could help. Ah, really? Unfortunate. Not a single soul heart from any of that. Hey, we made it to the boss pretty quick, though. All wrongs have been righted. Ooh, we got a thingy poop here. Holy dip poop. But apparently it's insistent on running towards the enemy rather than away from them. It's slightly annoying. Okay, let's try and use our uh, our little horsey for the, the foot here. Hey, that almost works. Good, good. Okay, please give us the boss teleport on this next floor. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Oh, for... You're such a bastard, game. You're such a bastard. Uh, I will take Pop, because that could be interesting, but why give me Secret Room again? It's not at all what we're looking for here. Oh, that hit me! Oh my god, I need to stay further away from that guy. Okay, hopefully this is somewhat the right way. I think we'll get a Soul Heart for killing these two, which is rather nice. Yeah, baby. Oh, we got double items. Oh, we got knives and black doll. They pair together pretty well, I'd say. But Johnny's knives are especially quite tasty for us. Okay. So far, we've not gone the right way, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> I love the eyeballs sticking to them and growing. Ooh, that card could be a teleport card. I should check on that, really. What do we got here? The little hand is there. Let me just quickly check this card. Empress, I mean, it's still worth grabbing onto, I think. Oh, brimstoneies. I wonder if there is some sort of science to knowing which way to go. Cause it, it do, obviously, it does just feel random, and it very easily could just be random, but... I do wonder if there's sort of something you can do to work out which way you should be going. I've gotten, like, okay at it, but it is still very random. Well, this feels right, but I have a feeling it's going to end in a big old dead end. Oh, no. There you go. Quickly see what this is. Not bad, not bad. Empress. 
Wait until there's two of them before we use our horsey. Wait until the split happens. Make things a little easier on our end. Ooh, you got 10 to gold there. By what? Oh, I've got a golden dip, I see. Very nice. I can't remember when he actually splits. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> Lots of extra damage on him there. And a beautiful lamb kill. Lovely stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Another fun golem run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.